This call is not free here. Today I'm trying to do a game no cash emulator. It plays Game Boy Advance and Nintendo DS ROMs. I'm gonna go ahead and show you that it works. I'm gonna go ahead and show you this too. If you have on like all games something that'll say like save data is not found or something like that or error, just open up your emulation controls under options. Go to Nintendo DS cartridge backup menu, change it from none to EEPROM 64 or I think Flash 512 or 2 and then press OK and it'll work. I'm going to go ahead and show you this too, a little cool thing. You can put action replay all the same that they would be for DS. Scribble knots. Let's see. It's right here. This is why I feel kind of offensive though. Conversion. Uh, I'll talk to a normal person. Then we type in this. That's not cool school knots. Shame on you. <laughs> no, I'm just playing, but, um, then I'll show you Mario Kart. Runs pretty smooth. That's what I'm just showing you right now. That I cannot be read, but the guy. Yeah, see? You just gotta change that up every now and then. Single player. Turn on shoots. Yeah, that's better. It gives you just like every car of anybody's. Who, I don't really know whose is the best. That looks decent, I guess. Go over here. Okay. See, you can see it's in very smooth and it's not just my computer on my other computer it was maybe like real like my internet would run slow and stuff but this it would lag every now and then but still ran pretty smooth so you don't have to worry about that There's a way I could freeze time, but I forgot. Crap. Crap. Oh, but yeah, that's about it, guys. So, thanks for watching. Peace.